Hi, Robert Bryce here with another quick power brief. Uh, this one on coal demand and electricity demand around the world. Uh, this is a, I've been writing about the coal market now and I've written about it in my last three books um, and the headlines really are quite remarkable. Um, here's an article from Power Technology, power crisis in India as coal demand outstrips, outstrips supply. In the FT, the Financial Times, power crunch looms in India as coal stocks reach crisis point. Uh, India's 135 thermal power plants in, in, in Asia's third largest economy had an average of just four days of coal. That was a headline from a day ago. Uh, and then uh, 14 hours ago, Mint is reporting that those stocks are now down to uh, three days of supply in India. Uh, China, meanwhile, uh, 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 China's widening electricity crisis caused by coal shortages. These are the realities of today. And we can talk about all the causes, their knock-on effects from the pandemic. But it comes to mind because five years ago, I was in India and we interviewed uh, Sanjay Ka uh, uh, Kar Chowdhury uh, from the Calcutta Electric Supply Corporation. And I quote him in A Question of Power. And during that interview, he told us, coal is a lifeline. It is a lifeline of all the thermal power stations. Without coal, you cannot survive. Um, to me, this is, you can love coal, you can hate coal. It doesn't really matter. What it is indicative to me of is two things. One. It's further corroboration of Roger Pilkey's iron law of climate. What is that iron law of climate? It is that when forced to choose between climate action and economic growth, economic growth will win every time. Well, all uh, due respect to Roger Pilkey Jr. He's been on my podcast a couple of times. My corollary is the iron law of electricity, which is that people, countries and businesses will do whatever they have to do to get the electricity they need. And that's what we're seeing now in China, in India, uh, one of the other headlines that's just recent in the last couple of days in Bloomberg about a German power plant forced to halt production due to a lack of coal. So what we're seeing now around the world as the economy snaps back and electricity demand soars uh, and economic growth continues, uh, countries are choosing coal to produce the electricity they need. And um, again, you don't have to like it. And we know that coal demand here in the U.S. has been falling rapidly and largely being replaced by natural gas. A lot of people are cheering that on and the numbers prove it out. Um, I just looked up the data uh, last year in 2020, US coal use was about nine, nine exajoules. That's the lowest level since the 1960s. So uh, we're, we're, doing, we're reducing coal consumption here in the US and that may be a good thing, but around the world, coal demand is outstripping supply. And that is because countries, individuals, businesses will do whatever they have to do to get the electricity they need. So I'll stop there. Um, this is a story that's uh, we're, we're, we're looking at an energy crisis around the world for all kinds of hydrocarbons, coal, oil, and natural gas. Um, and, and, and it doesn't look like this is going to end, uh, this, these shortages are going to end anytime soon. So this is a developing story. I'll be uh, doing more power briefs on it in the days ahead. That's it for now. Thanks.